school design. Based on my 20 years school experience, I come up with a school design principle. And I name it my goal standard for school design, which are number one, one material, Thai alloy only. This Thai, very, very strong. The new Thai material is very strong. So it's not likely to break this Thai alloy, strong, new material. And also only one color, which is gold. Oh, we love gold color. I love gold color. Who, who doesn't want gold? Physical, physical gold or digital gold? I like gold color. Just one color. Two size. Two by 12 and 1.5 by 8 millimeter. Two by 12. Two millimeter diameter, which we put outside the root. 1.5, we put between the root. That's why it has to be, should be smaller. Number three, extra screw. This is the extra. Very few occasions you need this screw, but when you need it, it is important to have this screw, which is two by 12. Edge. Edge mean hole. This hole can accommodate 3D level arm, arch wire. That's why it is important, although it is not the majority application that you use in my practice. Three school. Very important for you to know. That is my current goal standard. So how to school? How to put a school? The best way to learn will be step by step. I, I consider step by step is the key for any learning, especially school placement. So let's start with the upper. I use two kinds of school. One is IGC school, probably 80%. And the other 20% on upper is inside the school. IGC outside the root is 2 by 12, titanium. And in, inside the school, 1.5 by 8 titanium. So let's start with IGC school. This is my setup. My assistant will set up this for me. So you can take a photo to look at how I do it. Step number one, hook up the handle and the brake. Very easy. Press down. Jump up and lock it. So easy to do. Pick up the screw. Once you lock up your play, then you can pick up your screw. Two by twelve titanium alloy. Number three. Dry up the surface for better view after local anesthesia. So this explore is like a physical rehearsal where you want to put your screw. Most likely is somewhere around the Mucor Gingiva Junction. And then you ready, ready to school. So the way I put this IGC school, I put 90 degree to the surface, bone surface. Once you catch the bone, one to two millimeter, you keep schooling and gradually change to upright position. That's how you can get away with the root and it's outside the root approach. Hey, my dear friend, you only took me 30 seconds, and it's so easy. So watch this video over and over again. You should be able to catch the technique. And every school I put in, I always wanted to know the top value. But you don't have to do. I just do my research. I want to know the top value. In the IZC area, normally if you get 10 newton centimeter is good enough. For this case, it's 16 newton centimeter, which is very good. If you have 16 newton centimeter, my dear friend, you don't have to worry about school loose. 
So after that, then you hook up this elastic initial stage for attraction case. I use kangaroo. And once you, you, you close the space, you retract the canine midway, the, the distance becomes shorter and shorter. So that's where we put change to chimma because chimma, the diameter is smaller. So initial stage, kangaroo. Final stage, I change to chimma. Very important message. The idea ICC school position is upright position like this. In other words, it's outside the root. That is the key. Outside the root enable you to move the whole tendition backward and forward. If it's between the root, you cannot do that. But in the front piece, incisor, we do put between the root. First, pick up the screw. 1.5 by 8 titanium arrow. Dry the surface for better view after local analysis. Use and explore for physical rehearsal where you want to put a screw. Most likely somewhere around the Milko Jinjiba Junction. And now it's 90 degrees to the surface. You don't change the direction. 90 degrees. Because it's between the root in the front teeth. Sometimes I may tilt down a little bit to make sure that the apex of my root uh, screw tip is a little bit up, so it's out, it's between two apex. Then I check the top. Inside the area, if you get over five Newton centimeter, that is considered pretty, pretty good. In this case, seven Newton. Good job. So it's the idea inside the school position near apex in between the root. Look at this. This, this tip, school tip, is in between the root. Uh, one more tip. The orientation of the school head is important for patient comfort. Do not leave a school position like this because the sharp angle will poke the patient. I don't want to do that. I want to adjust a little bit, become a flat surface that's more comfortable for the patient. So how to hook up this elastic? A lot of people ask me. First, I will have my assistant to do this lingo cut, braid type lingo cut. Braid type means wider outside, narrow inside. So that's how we can hook up this elastic. You wish we cut this by ourselves. The Invisalign company, they don't cut this for you. And it's very easy. You only took a couple seconds to do that. And you preload with this fox. Most of the case I use fox incisor. So you use this applier. A lot of companies sell this appliance. You cut this one. So it's a fray, flaring type. Out, wider outside, narrow inside. That's how we can hook up, hold this elastic. Then you hook up here. For doctor, we use this uh, hemostat. For the patient, they can just use finger. It, it's very easy for them to use. Don't worry about the technique. The technique is so straightforward for the patient. Inside the school, for deep by correction, very effective. So that's how I handle upper. Correction the protrusion, IGC school. Correction the deep by inside the school. The timing for school, number one for the posterior is before space closing. Before. Before you're going to close the space, that's how you need the anchorage. You put the IGC school. Inside the school, after aligning the frontis, because if the frontis is too crooked, it's difficult to get between the root space. Once you line up, you separate the apex. That's how you can put a screw right here. Final test. Final. How do you fix this up? How do you upright the door? Some order. 
school with square hole. This hole can receive a sectional wire. That's how you can upright the cell model. So school with hole is important. Not only for impaction, but for anything you need to connect the wire. And put this buckle shear screw is easy. Even though it's in the lower, the buckle shear, the bone is very thin. This titanium screw is so strong. So look at how easy to penetrate the buckle shear bone. You only took me 15 seconds. That's it. So easy. And I check the top. Guess what? The top value in the law, if you get over 15 Newton centimeter, that is considered ideal. For this case, let me tell you, it's over 20 Newton centimeter. Very strong bone, but look at how easy to put a screw. Very easy. Because this screw with titanium arrow, very sharp and very strong. In conclusion, if you know how to use this one, two, three screw, this three screw, and with this aligner, you can solve a lot of, a lot of difficult cases. So my conclusion today is, I really, really love aligner plus screw. You put them together, you solve a lot of patient situation. Titanium, strong enough. With that, I thank you for your attention. Thank you.